Buggy as a technology has kind of mirrored aerospace. In the early days, buggies were made out of aluminum, airframe basically, so it'd have some rib structure and an aluminum skin. The older, the older buggy CIA used to roll especially had an aluminum frame that was either welded or riveted together, and we would make a large mold in the shape of the buggy and make a fiberglass, um, and later on a Kevlar, shell. Once the um, aluminum frame was together, we'd install all the components in there. The, they had different harnesses, they had different steering. Um, and we'd get it all installed and the shell would fit right on top of the frame and the buggy would be assembled like that. More recently, there's been a push toward composites. Typical materials are carbon fiber and epoxy. Uh, some teams use Kevlar, uh, some teams use some fiberglass. Um, only very recently with the advent of core materials, which is when you have carbon fiber sandwiching some core material, it's usually a very light kind of foam or honeycomb or something like that, um, has the monocoque design been able to be realized. The, the entire shell gets fabricated at once, and it's very strong, very light, very structural. Um, the monocoque design is probably the last really true great step forward for buggy. And the monocoque design allows buggies to be just one piece monocoque, which is what that means. Um, and it allows them to be much lighter and much stiffer. Um, because half of the race is uphill, lightweight matters a lot because there's a lot of um, dynamics that occur on the course every time you have a, a stiffer buggy, you're uh, not losing as much energy uh, in, in, inside of your buggy. So, so the stiffness matters. Strength matters because you can create a lighter buggy uh, that is just as strong and just as safe for the drivers to drive.